can take it from me until I die. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. Hmm. <laughs> However will I find said crystal? Alright. Uh, classes? Oh. Let's look at skills first. Looks like our... <laughs> dance, reflexes, flexibility, all of that can still be increased. So... I might as well go for it. Maybe the lore as well. Meditation, divination. These all sound very nice. So, classes. Agility. Reflexes. Uh, flexibility. Done. You practice running at high speed back and forth over a small area, making quick turns and changes in direction. You practice tennis against multiple opponents, learning to judge at a glance when a ball is too far away to reach in time. Your skill and reflexes is now 50. You may not increase the skill until your other agility skills are 25 or higher. Ooh. You learn to relax and evaluate the tension in your body, then to practice the different types of motion available to each of your joints, twisting, shifting, and rotating. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zara and their parents gone. It's certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was so worried about Charlotte after that snake bit her. But her mother said she's okay, so I guess it turned out alright. Maybe she has a guardian angel. Oh, she's probably dead. That, that sucks, because I failed a thing. Oh, I don't want to fail a thing. Okay. Well, uh, we could play sports, but what I would like to do is turn my willful into yielding, I think. Yes. Uh, yielding, depressed, and pressured. I think that would work, actually. That would have plus two, so one, two, and then if I did that one more weekend, I'd definitely get yielding. But I want to talk to my father. Gosh, I don't know. Uh, no, we're going to attend court. Would that be okay? Even though it would add one to my depressed. Sitting in court sessions is not fun at all, but it pleases your father and it may be important for your future. Ugh, oh, that sounded awful. Okay, I guess we're going to keep going with the agility thing, since we're doing so darn well on it. Um, can I also get some faith going, eh? Uh, okay, let's do flexibility and faith. Finding and maintaining your own inner peace. Interpreting signs from nature of what the future might hold. The magical history of Nova. Um, let's do divination. Holy cow. You practice circling your arms and making kicking motions with your legs to stretch out your limbs. You practice bouncing motions with your arms and legs to increase the muscular effect. You have unlocked a new outfit. Well, that's good. You learn that the gods cannot be forced to divulge information about the future and that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. We have a Duke of Sedna? No, my lady, the Duchy of Sedna is in Thales. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of, deeply regret, best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Something sparkly will make me feel better. <laughs> Okay, I'm clearly running late here. I need to start working on uh, on getting becoming yielding. So my current mood is afraid. If I could become uh, angry and yielding, that would be great. Let's just go again with attend court, I guess. All right. Aye. And keep going with our... Uh, oh, let's see the new outfit. Tutu. Boosts agility. Okay. Skills. Not bad. I guess we can keep increasing that. How's uh, the faith life coming? Um, okay. Classes. 
Um, agility. Faith divination, yeah. I keep increasing, increasing the reflexes. You practice touch blocking skills at full speed, deflecting hands before they can reach you. And you also practice chasing a small dog through the castle garden, sleeping over uneven stones and dodging through branches. Not bad. Dropping your favorite plate is bad luck. A statue spontaneously shattering is a bad omen. You read about well-known signs of bad fortune. Wells turning sour, dry lightning, strange fish caught in nets, malformed babies being born, and so on. Ooh, I have spotted a familiar figure. It's the Duchess of Ursel. Maybe I should go and say hello. Then you notice that seated beside her is a woman in the robes of a priestess. They are very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. Looks like she's busy. <laughs> Ha, huh, I wonder what kind of relationship they have. And I also wonder what I can do to turn yielding. Jeez. Okay, bump up angry and cheerful. If I can bump up angry and cheerful. So, something that makes me angry and cheerful. No? Sports? Um, angry and cheerful. I guess we'll do sports. Yeah. Okay, now I'm depressed, which is good, because that means I can get back to uh, expression and animal handling. So we're going to work on horse riding and expression. I guess it was, was it voice? Let's keep going. I learn about different vocal ranges, uh, difference in resonance, good, good. Learn about caring for horses, grooming with different brushes, and keeping hooves free of stones. I learn about the different pieces that go into saddles and bridles, how to check for signs of wear, and how to equip and adjust them on a horse. There we go, I'm starting to get okay. As you are walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down, holding a towering pile of linen. You swiftly step aside and let her pass. <laughs> Good. I bet uh, my, my neck would have broken or something if I didn't have the high reflexes. Plus one depressed, plus one afraid. That doesn't sound very good. Um, so, if I can just become happy, then things will be nice. So let's see what happens. Yielding, lonely, and cheerful. What happens if I go yielding, lonely, and cheerful? Yielding, uh, lonely, and cheerful. That sounds okay. Uh, yielding, lonely, and cheerful. Okay. We're going to play it with toys. You spend the weekend holed up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. What is my mood? I'm yielding! Okay, I can learn my history, which is good, my foreign affairs. Um, apparently nothing with weapons, but I can also learn my royal demeanor. And, uh, boof, faith as well? No. Oh, that's just because I'm already so good at faith. Okay, well, I guess uh, royal demeanor it is. So, presence sounds important, if I'm going to, uh, presence and composure, if I'm going to be a warlord type person. Royal demeanor, presence. Royal demeanor, presence. Done. Okay. I'm getting intense with my gaze, energy surrounding me for others to share, good, good. There is a man here to see you. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters, which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 875 Lassie to assemble the metal and a factory to mold and cast a type. With this system, we will be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now, and make copies to send all over the world. I don't know much about factories or trade. Would that really be worthwhile? We are not interested. Okay, so if I wanted to be able to say yes, then I need to have a specific skill set there. Now, let's see my mood. 
Um, maybe if I can move a f angry and cheerful, I like that. Yielding is pretty fine for me right now, but let's see angry and cheerful. Is there an angry and cheerful? Probably not. Uh, let's talk to my father. Dad, what happened to Mom's Lumen Crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. But it's mine! Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want, but for now, you are still a child. Hmm. Very well. Let's look at... Uh, my mood is still yielding, which is nice. So we're gonna have to uh, work on that royal demeanor. Uh, bring up composure and elegance, I guess. Which is unfortunate, because they don't have the bonus. Mm. Oh, no, they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, composure and elegance. Yeah. So that I can work on presence. You practice deep breathing exercises, learning to find and maintain a sense of inner calm. You practice walking along a narrow trail, talk, taking each step carefully and focusing on your balance. Well, not so bad. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. Thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Ixionite occupation of the country of Imbrium has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push back. I know there's been some problems with Ixion, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Marie. I don't know anything about the military. I don't want to fight. There must be a peaceful way to settle this. I will send for diplomats from Ixion and try to come to some arrangement. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness, if I may ask, that necklace you're wearing, where did it come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Then you have made arrangements with him? Um, what sort of arrangements? Your Highness, that is a courting gift. The man wishes to gain your hand in marriage. Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> man, I missed out on war because I don't have enough war training. I'm not very good at this game, apparently, but that's okay. It's my first time running through it. How's the mood? Yielding, not so bad. Okay, visit Juliana, the Duchess of Ursel. My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we'll just have to wait. There may not be time to wait. This world is filled with dangers, and you will need the powers of a lumen to fight them. You can't begin training until you have bonded with your crystal. Well, what am I supposed to do about it? The crystal is probably held under guard in the royal treasury. You are the princess. You should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, we might have to take drastic action. <sighs> What's drastic action? What do you mean by drastic action? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Try to reach the crystal. If you can't, come and talk to me again. Okay. Um, classes. I'm being an idiot here because I... I was really hoping that I would get to uh, improve my foreign affairs and my military and all that fun stuff. Where is military? Oh, that's just under stress. I'd have to be angry, wouldn't I? Uh, might as well top off royal demeanor somehow. Frick. I don't know. Classes. Let's do history classes. Uh, foreign affairs. Events and okay, so yeah, let's let's bump up foreign affairs. You studied the relationship of Nova and its nearest neighbors. The borders have been mostly peaceful in recent years, except for the problems with Ixion to the south. However, trouble may be brewing in Pyrrhus as well. Four years ago, the Duchess of Hellas tried to foment an insurrection in northern Ixion, just over the Galban River border. Not only did that fail, but in retaliation, Ixion pushed troops into southern Marie, and they are still refusing to leave. Tombula to the north underwent a peasant revolution shortly after you were born. The nobles either fled or were killed, and the new rulers have so far refused to establish official diplomatic ties with Nova. While they are not friendly, neither are they enemies, at least not yet. Oh, jeez. The representative from Ixion is here. Be careful. No one wants to give up prizes that they have won. You have the full support of my sister and myself, your highness. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Your Royal Highness, thank you for granting me this audience. I'm sure we can come to amicable agreement. Let bygones be bygones, no? We will forget about your unprovoked attacks on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. It was the Duchess of Hellas who tried to take over part of Ixion's 